So a lot of the talk that was surrounding Mafia 3 before the trailer dropped at Gamescom and we saw what the game's going to be about, it was what the story was going to be in Mafia 3. And a lot of people thought that it was going to continue right off the bat from Mafia 2 and really put some closure to Joe's death. So I'm not going to lie to you, this video is going to be clutching at a few straws. And I was going to ask the question, is Lincoln Clay, the guy that we see in the Mafia 3 trailer, Joe's son? Now, I'm not saying he is, I'm just going to ask a few questions and at the end of the video you can make your own mind up. But I think that making Lincoln Joe's son, it could be a kind of link throughout the Mafia games to link Mafia 2 with Mafia 3. And if we do see the old guy in the trailer on the right hand side, he, he does look like Vito and it is confirmed that Vito is in the game. You can assign Vito as one of your commanders to take care of places for you. So if Vito's in the game, I think it could be a great way to link Mafia 2 and Mafia 3, the way Mafia 2 linked between Mafia 1, where Vito and Joe killed the main protagonist from Mafia 1. So what do we know about Link and Clay? We do know that he's a mixed race, which kind of confirms that he's half black and half, well, half Joe maybe? And also he has the surname Clay, which, you know, has notes of black origin. We have Cassius Clay, Muhammad Ali. Uh, he could have taken his mother's surname or maybe he adopted it himself. We do know that he was an orphan. So this kind of ties into maybe Joe was just banging a whole bunch of chicks when he had money. And if we look at the time period, it does kind of work out. Now, Lincoln Clay does look like he could be in his late 20s, early 30s. And Mafia 2 took place in the uh, post-war, well, around the war period, so maybe mid 40s. So if Lincoln was born around that time, 20 or 30 years later, it does work out because Mafia 3 is set in 1968 after the well after the Vietnam War. So the times do seem to match up in that Vito would be around about, you know, late 50s or early 50s rather. So in the trailer we do find out that he says, you know, he wants he says that someone would finally treat you like a son. That's what he's looking for. He's looking to protect his family, which his family is talking about maybe his brothers from the Vietnam War. But the fact that he says that, it does tie into the fact that he was an orphan and it could ma make sense that he was raised with the mother, ra raised with his mother or born on the black side of the community. So all in all, these things do work out and so on. But the thing that really got me to think about this was when I saw his eyes in the rear view mirror in the trailer, I just thought to myself, damn, that looks like Joe's eyes. He looks, his nose looks like Joe's nose. And there's just a, something about him that I was like, shit, he does just look like Joe. And it's kind of a gut feeling to me. So all these things are just kind of things that kind of uh, confirm his age, his race. Um, the fact that it would be a good way to link the stories. They all just come in something that it could be, you know, maybe it is. And whether or not the reveal trailer that got leaked before this, you know, the one with the white screen and the Mafia 2 logo turning into Mafia 3, and they were talking about, they were, and they had the audio from the end of Mafia 2 where Vito's talking to Leo. Uh, so there is that kind of uh, aspect of what happened to Joe, and I think having his son there might be good closure for the story. And the other thing is, why would Vito be there? What's his tie in to help out Lincoln Clay? Uh, and what's the reason he, sh he, he should be in this game? It could be because he's feels like he has to pay some debt to Joe and he finds out about Joe's son and therefore he uh, needs to protect him or help him out or something because he feels obliged to because he got Joe killed. So I think that's a really neat kind of maybe Vito could play a kind of fatherly role to, to Lincoln and I think this is a, just a really neat way to bring the story of Mafia 2 into Mafia 3 but have it in a more modern setting. So what do you think? Do you think it could be Joe's son? Do you have anything, uh, any kind of information that could uh, you, you could put in the comments that r confirms this even more if I miss something out? Let me know in the comments what you think. Uh, it'd be interesting to talk about this. And I'm just hyped for Mafia 3, man. And uh, thanks for watching, everyone. I'll see you in the next one. Take care and peace out.